right, so I've got another example. Um, I've got 68 degrees Fahrenheit, and I want to know is it uh, how many degrees Celsius is it equal to? So 68 degrees Fahrenheit is equal to how many degrees Celsius? And I have my equation that relates the Fahrenheit and the Celsius. So I just have to basically plug things in, but it's a little different than the last example we did. Can you tell how it's going to be a little bit different? Yeah, um, we have the Celsius, or we have the Fahrenheit, and we're looking for the Celsius before we had the Celsius. So we just plugged in that Celsius, did the math, and got the Fahrenheit. But this one's a little bit, a little bit tougher. Not too bad, though. So I put the 68 in for the Fahrenheit, and I know that's 1.8 times the Celsius temperature plus the 32. All right. So now I just have to solve this equation right, for the Celsius. So, simple enough, we already talked about how to solve equations. What would you do first? Yep, subtract the 32. So if I subtract 32 from both sides, I end up with 36 equals 1.8C, because, right, when we take away 32 from this side, it makes this guy go away, and 68 minus 32 gives me 36. All right, and then the last thing I have to do, I want the C by itself, so I have to Divide by the 1.8 on both sides. And believe it or not, 36 divided by 1.8 is 20. So 68 degrees Fahrenheit is 20 degrees Celsius, and that's all there is to it. So if you, you're given the Celsius temperature and you want to get the Fahrenheit temperature, you pretty much just have to plug into the equation and do the computation. Um, if you get the, if they give you the Fahrenheit temperature and ask you for the Celsius temperature, you have to do a little bit more work, right? You have, you end up with an equation you have to solve. But either way, not too bad. You know how to do all these things, so it should be pretty straightforward as long as you remember um, Fahrenheit temperature is equal to 1.8 times the Celsius temperature plus 32.